Hey kids, what's going on? It's me again, Jamie. Hi. Um, it's messing around with the Hornsby Skews uh, Shatterbox. Um, built myself a version that was the NPN Germanium instead of the PNP uh, silicone. I want to thank Electric Warrior for making the schematic and the layout and all that stuff so I could even figure this out. Anyways, it's like people have been saying this thing sounds like shit forever. Um, I was messing with it. I think it sounds like shit because they put the, uh, they left the swell control from the fuzz when they tacked the booster on the end of it. What they should have done was taken the uh, swell control and moved it in as a gain control for the booster so you had some kind of control over the gain. Anyways, uh, once you dial it in, it's a nice sound, a little fuzz. Um, this is it here. It's a rat's nest and it's a mess, as you can see. There's a couple of old generic kind of um, uh, GE top hat kind of transistors and uh, the booster I'm using a uh, bog standard kind of 2N3904 uh, out of all the other NPNs I tried that just seemed to see, you know work the best and sound the best in the circuit but anyways uh, enough of me talking I got it going through uh, a XP all, which is like a really tricked out modified uh, Digitech that was uh, given to me by a couple of awesome brothers of mine. Uh, Greg and Dino, man. Ooh. I got it set on a little reverb. So I wanted two cacophonies. But here's the basic sound of the guitar, both pickups on it. Humbucker at the neck, humbucker at the bridge. Into just the, uh, the amp itself. A little bit of reverb from this thing. I'm trying to make it a little louder. Anyways, let's turn it on. First, we'll turn on the booster. Actually, first, we'll turn on the fuzz. For perspective. Turn it down a little bit. Get a more usable. Now let's hit the boost. That's where the gain control turns the front of the boost circuit down. You can set it to any level you need. Bypass the whole thing. It's a nice boost. Turn it down. 
Fiends up. This version of Scatterbox. Um, I think by moving that one thing, I think it was a mistake that was made probably in production early, and they probably just set up a template where they had the fuzz control in there. Maybe they didn't even try. It. I have no idea. But moving the uh, the swell control from the end of the fuzz before it would turn the fuzz down, which you didn't really need as much as you needed to be able to turn down the input to the boost because when you hit the boost it was like a 30 db boost or something i mean you'd have this wimpy ass sound of kind of fuzz because of the volume control being there being attenuated by like a lot of resistance because there's like you know there was almost three megs of resistance between the uh the output of the you know the second stage and the input to the booster by moving it and making it a load for the uh input of the booster it does a couple of things first it goes and you have a higher impedance like a guitar feeding a lower impedance like the input to an effect pedal um and second it provides uh a load where you have a way to be able to control the volume going to the final stage the boost stage and the boost cleans up beautifully with all this shit not labeled <laughs> but anyways
Turn it down. <laughs> Anyways, that's uh, the scatter box based on the Hornsby Screws scat shatter box, uh, which was a Zonk machine with a boost after it. I don't know enough about it to really be elaborating about it, but uh, I'll post a link for the uh, schematic and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, this is not the original circuit. This is an NPN version, so it should play nice with uh, modern day requirements. Uh, it's true bypass, the whole nine yards. I got to just slap it in a box. But I wanted to get some video so you guys could hear what this thing sounds like. Um, got to run, y'all. Be excellent to each other. Peace.